Yo, what's going on, fellas, and welcome back to the Relocation Draft Build on the channel, here with our first year of Carolina football. We're 2-0 off to a good start, coached by a Jason Garrett, which doesn't make much sense, but anyway. Last draft, you will see that we only made one really good pick, and it was the only position of need. Emery Russell, the quarterback from Nebraska. This guy is a superstar, 80 overall, 6'6". Six six. I mean, the dude has fantastic intangibles, like, like, look at that agility, mate. Yeah, if you don't know, Cam Newton got really old, so we are, you know, out with the old, in with the new. So checking out our first two games, we demolished the Redskins, 41. 31-9, 31-13 to to against the Chiefs. I figured for our game this time around, we would go up against the Broncos because a couple years ago, they drafted a generational quarterback and I thought, hey, why don't we get him to verse our rookie quarterback? Ah, there he is, Wade Shelton, mate. We were initially going to draft this guy and he got stolen from us pretty much, so I look forward to picking him off. Definitely need to get cornerbacks, we couldn't pick him up in the last episode. So cornerback will be my point of interest in this year's draft, hands down. Last year's cornerback draft was absolutely insane. You come in this year and you've only got two cornerbacks that look half decent, I mean. But uh, when you take into consideration Antoine Thornton is six foot three and is a prototype. So if his 40 yard dash is pretty good, then this guy might be the way to go. This is the first year I've also gone ahead and gotten gold boost for each player. Positional group is quarterback and wide receiver, but it's mainly for our quarterback. You can literally do one training and then just go back in every single week and smash these two out. Players of emphasis are of course Emery Russell, Kazim Spears, our right outside linebacker, and Eric Ryan on the off offensive line. I've always known about this, but I've just been lazy over the last couple reload draft builds. As you can see, 1k XP from the drill and the coach boost is 120. Plus, he gets a 300 bonus from being a superstar development. Do you need to find some ends if at all possible, and preferably a late round one? I don't know why Nick Slate isn't that good. He's... I don't know. Derek Morris out of Colorado State, 6 foot 7, B plus power move, B pursuit, B hit power, yet he's projected to go undrafted. On the right end, we have two Oregon uh, <laughs> I'm looking more for the late rounders though, if at all possible, you know? This guy right here, Martinez Hill, 82 overall. He's nothing crazy, but our backup is a 77. So if we can keep this guy around, I would like to. You know, 3 mil, 195 over four years. Take it, mate. Just take it. How annoying are crows, man? Bro, this crow's about to go beat that crow's ass. Holy crap, who is this guy? 27-year-old superstar wide receiver, 89 overall. The guy is blazing fast, and he has 32,000 XP, mate. Russell's got 28k, that's nice. Funches has 20k. The real question is, now that we're in week 15, our guaranteed superstar will be Harvard running back, Harvard. Really now, Harvard. Jawon McLaughlin has just won the Heisman after an impressive season leading the conference in every major rushing category. Wouldn't be too hard to lead that conference. Unfortunately, we won't need him because we have 99 overall McCaffrey, but I'm sure he will find a spot in the NFL. Well, here we are. Looks like the Broncos aren't having a crazy season. Remember, with these games, they're only to showcase the players that we draft and have a little bit of fun on the way. Trust me, I am not a good Madden player, okay? So now that that's out of the way, let's jump into it. All right, I've never used Carolina's offense or defense before, so this should be interesting. Oh, he's going to get sacked by Spears. The 93 overall outside linebacker, mate. I got to use him, my boy, Keekly, man. He's getting a little bit old, but in the training, I did manage to get a couple of interceptions with him. Going to the run game. This quarterback never passes the ball, mate. Wade Shelton right here, he's terrified. We've got him shaking in his cleats. Here we go. Here's a pass. Goes to that same route as before. Interesting. And if I'm not mistaken, that's OJ Howard, the tight end. Don't know how the Broncos got him, but they did in the offseason. Get off, Geekly. Get off the block, mate. That's a touchdown, ain't it? Nah, he's on the one. Oh, let's go, baby. Bro, how big is that guy? What the hell? 79. Yeah, this guy has to be on roids, man. There is no way this guy is not pumping the most steroids in the NFL, bro. This guy is freaking huge. All right, that's my bad. I ran the wrong way. All right, he's calling for it. You better get that first down, Croft. 
There are Funches. Croft again, mate, coming up with a snag. It's a shame that this quarterback is not a scrambler. I'd love to get out the pocket with him. But look how tall the bloke is. Six foot six, mate. Let's go McCaffrey. Got to try and be patient here, get some blocks. All right, not bad, mate. Oh, that's easy. That's easy work for McCaffrey, mate. Alrighty, second half, up by one point from the missed PAT. The worst part is this playbook's designed for Cam Newton, who uh, evidently is not here today. But... Alright, just take the dump off, mate. Come on, Crofto. No, I'm on the wrong man! <laughs> Alright, third and inches, boys. You know they're gonna go for a run. Well, they should, I mean... They're gonna pass it. Oh, wow, you hang on to that. Oh, nice tackle in the backfield by the cornerback. I still can't get over this guy right here. He's just, mate, he needs to lay off the protein powders. Bring him down, Keekly. Alrighty then, no idea what happened on the fallout, but Swiney over on the right from that same ridiculous play is going to take it to the house. Good job, mate, good job. And there's Williamson, the superstar wide receiver, but there's a flag on the play. What is the bet that bad boy is going to get brought back? Really, mate? Second and 26? Let's take that. Oh, get up! <laughs> he just gets back up and starts running. Alright, McCaffrey, nice. Call a timeout, try and get everyone's stamina back up. There we go, Croft. Nice one. We probably should have taken a bit of time off the clock. We're going for it all, mate. Two-point conversion. We're not sticking around for overtime. And... <sighs> we would have got him to a punt, but uh, that's... That's about it, mate. Alright, let's go ahead and jump to the Super Bowl week where we'll find out who our last guaranteed superstar will be. Hopefully we get a right end, left end, defensive tackle maybe. We lost to the Giants 31-20, to but at least the team we lost to went through to the Super Bowl. Rashad Barty has become a favorite player of scouts to watch at Indiana State games. He's tough and goes hard on every play. Alright, I think that means he's a quick development. Checking out the MVP though, Lamar Jackson finishes fourth. He won it last year and uh, unfortunately we couldn't make it, which is interesting because it looks like we had a pretty good season offensive player we're gonna finish in sixth place which isn't bad considering we're a rookie and then offensive rookie of the year is of course gonna go to Emery Russell mate 4600 yards pretty much 47 35 touchdowns 18 interceptions if we can just change that a little bit lower that interceptions boost up that touchdown this man will be dominant McCaffrey with 1,300 yards, Martin with 1,300, Funches with 1,000, Antoine Williamson with 978, but tied for the most touchdowns. Luke Keekley still being an absolute terror out there, 126 tackles. Kazim Spears, 115. So the defense, like the whole team is super, super solid. 54,000 for Emery Russell. Awareness matters only on simulation. It means you don't get sacked. So we'll just boost that up to 80. Throw power, will get that up to 95. Short accuracy up to 90. Medium up to 90. Get that deep up to 80. And put one more into medium. One more into short. So that's a pretty significant increase right there. He goes up to an 87 overall. Of course, we have Antoine Williamson, the wide receiver. If there's one thing I love on my wide receivers, it is route running. We're going to get that up to 95. Traffic, get that up to 88. That's going to boost you up to a 92. So as per the rules of the reload draft build, you can go into the free agency, but you can only sign one player. We don't have that much money, so the computer... Oh, crap, we have no money. Aaron Donald's in there. Zach Martin's in there. Khalil Mack's in there. Well, rip that. And now that we're ready to start the NFL, draft it is time to announce where we will be relocating the most liked comment as of the moment that I'm recording this video the Dublin Celtic Tigers why Dublin bro <laughs> Chicago's picking third fingers crossed Clayton Hill maybe be a little bit of a gem 
79 superstar. No freaking way. Great speed, great acceleration, great man, great zone. Clayton is ranked 19th. You picked him up at 27. Please let me have my right hand. He's not there. No way. I'm going to take Josiah Collins, man. I got a feeling about him. He's got really good top three skills for a third rounder. Skip the combine, so it's a lucky dip. Let's see uh, how he turns out. 77 quick. Josiah is ranked 23rd. You got him at 59th. I think I might trade away the third and the fourth round picks for next year picks. Don't take my friggin' don't take my Hawaii player, mate. He's a sixth rounder. He should not. He just went to the Jaguars. Why does the league have to be so annoying? Benjamin Olshanksky. Shansky. 75 normal, excellent pick. 92 impact block, that's a, that's actually really solid for a fifth rounder, geez. I'm gonna let the computer do the rest of the draft, man. That just, that destroyed me seeing that Hawaii player go that early, dude. He was projected early uh, sixth round, gets picked up in the fifth. Let's see if the Jaguar has picked up a gem or not. 73 overall normal, so we didn't really miss out on much. He's got really good strength, really good XL. The only problem is we've got quite a problem at the right end position. But checking out our draft recap, we picked up some next year picks in early rounds, second and third rounds to be exact. Clayton Hill out of UCLA was a fantastic pickup, projected second rounder. He turned out to be an absolute gem with that man of zone agility press. Good height at six foot two, superstar development. And then uh, Josiah Collins. Normally strong safeties in the second round aren't really that crazy, but in the case of Josiah, we definitely picked up a hell of a gem. Quick development, 77 overall. Computer picked up Alan Loney, the left tackle, and then a defensive tackle by the name of Henry Saunders. So without further ado, that is going to wrap up part one of the Carolina Panthers segment of our Reload Draft build. Really hoping you guys are enjoying the content, man. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Not making any sense